congratulations on your purchase of the Swing Factor Golf Swing Trainer. In this short video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough on the best uses of your new training aid so that when you practice, you'll form really good swing habits. So let's get started. Now before we get into the actual use of different movements using your swing factor, let's talk very briefly about the preform grip. So a lot of people may have confusion about how to grip a golf club properly. The good news is with your swing factor that's taken care of, all you have to do is sit and watch TV at night, hold on to your swing factor and your hands will naturally start to form the proper grip just the more you hang on to this. Okay, so now you understand, and you can't get it wrong, how to properly hold on to the club or the swing factor. Let's talk about backswing proper use of the arms. So I like to get myself a little bit set this way to dress arms hanging naturally straight down in front of you. And then all we need to realize is that what we're doing in the backswing with our arms is basically folding the right arm and turning our core away from the ball or away from the target. So when we do that with the swing factor, this gradual folding of the right arm has caused my wrist to properly set. I'll show you from this angle. Then all I do from there is finish making a turn. Okay, now I'm not as flexible as probably a lot of you watching this. So unfortunately I can't look exactly like Ben Hogan. Wish I could, but I can't. But we can certainly make this easier for you in understanding. Again, all we're doing in a backswing is basically right arm fold chest and hips turn away from the target and the right wrist and the left wrist cock naturally based on those motions. You can't get it wrong with a swing factor so that's the good news. If you were to <clears throat> take it back and like overly roll your forearms, okay now you're in your right arm instead of your left. If you were to take it back and counter rotate your arms this way. Okay, I've totally missed my left arm. So again, all we have to do is make this curvature seek this bicep. So we may want to start there before we get into actual complete swing training and just go step one to there. And that's step one. Just to there. Step two now would be just to finish our turn, and that would be the top of the swing. So now let's show that from this angle. If I only did the arm movement, that would be the end of my swing, right? But if I blend the turn and that movement together, you'll see that's a pretty nice condition for a back swing. So again, in review, there's going to be some left wrist and right wrist hinging in that manner and there's going to be a gradual folding of the right arm if you are a right handed golfer. From that position you finish your turn and that's it. Alright now for the fun part downswing. Again this swing factor is going to basically help you very quickly understand what a proper downswing is supposed to feel like. So again we'll get our set position here, our turn position here. So all I have to do is I want to transport my hands to a position where they're back over my right leg. What I don't want to do is just stay here in a turn position and, and literally just pull my hands down here. That would be the most awkward looking golf swing. Maybe not, maybe not the most, but pretty bad. Um, let's go again. So how am I going to get my hands over my right leg? I'm just going to rotate my entire core 
to that position. This is really close to being still touching. Again, that's a flexibility issue for some people like me. But that's our delivery position. And we'll see that this grip is parallel to my line of flight. From that position, then the right arm will start to slowly straighten. That's going to push the right wrist from being very bent back into starting to lose. And by the way, that arrow is pointed directly at you right now. So that would be the golf ball. As my body continues to turn, my right arm continues to straighten to this position, now the arrow is pointed at the target. So now from this view, all I do to get my hands in front of my right leg is just rotate my entire body continuously. Now you can see this grip is basically parallel to my line of flight in slow motion due to the mass of the club and the circular motion of the swing. My right wrist would start to unload. This is pointing directly at the ball. As I continue to rotate, my right arm is straightened. Now this arrow is pointed at the target. And let's do that from this view as well. Rotate until this is parallel with my line of flight. That unloads at the ball. That points at you. Here I can rehinge, and we see a lot of great players in that position, don't we? So now you're starting to understand the swing factor is going to train you to properly use your body in the downswing and achieve these key positions that all these great players achieve without having to really do anything other than keep this bar on the arm and use your body rotation to get to the release point. Now I'm showing you how the wrist unload. Trust me, this is not anything you have to do consciously. If you'll consciously train to use your body correctly based on the weight of the club and again the, the circular motion of the swing, your wrist will automatically get to this kind of bow condition at impact. And then as the swing continues, the weight of the club starts to go past you. That's going to make this right wrist kind of move that way and that way. But you see I really have it crossed over. This is not a training aid that's going to allow you to swing down and cross your arms over. You have to keep it on that bicep until your hands are over your right leg. And then you can look at it and go, this arrow should point at the ball. You can see how this is angle forward, so that's shaft lean. So I'm not doing any kind of convoluted attempt to maintain lag forever. I'm just using this as a guide to go, if I can just get this rotation to get my hands to here, I know. Still going to have forward shaft lean. This is going to kick out, rehinge, and I am done. So that is really it. This is not a complicated training aid. It's not something that's going to keep you up at night trying to figure out how to use it. You just need to spend time with it and understand, again, this is designed to get you in a very good top of swing position. It's designed to encourage you to use your body, which is one of Mr. Hogan's, it's not a secret, but it's one of the fundamentals that all the great ball strikers use, they're not getting to the top of the swing and freezing their chest and just dropping their arms down. They're not just slashing at it with their arms and rolling their forearms over. They all went to the top, used body rotation. As the body rotation started to slow down, that's when we see that look. And this will give you always the true feeling of what you're trying to accomplish to build a really good quality golf swing. So now let's go through a little bonus training routine. If I were going to use this 10-15 minutes a day, 
would that be more valuable to me than going to the range for an hour three days a week? And I would say absolutely. If my golf swing is not exactly what I want it to be, it's better for me to train it properly for a short period of time and try to be consistent with that versus just going to the range and hitting a lot of golf balls and hoping that my swing changes. Swing Factor is going to give you feedback and help you build that muscle memory, okay? So let's say I just want to practice for five minutes on my backswing. Bend the right arm, get the tool on the left bicep, rotate to the top, check at the mirror, make sure it looks pretty good. You can see this is also a pretty close approximation of a shaft plane. There's the top. Slowly translate by rotating all the way down until this is parallel with my target line. You can see this bar looks pretty vertical here, so I don't want it back in here. I definitely don't want it out there. I've got a guideline with my mirror to help me see that. Then I start to unhinge, and there's impact, follow through. Let's show you one more time from that view. So again, I'm just going to bend the right arm, set this on the left bicep, rotate to the top, rotate to hands over right leg, release, straighten the right arm, rehinge there, and there's three-quarter finish. It's a little challenging to use this up here unless you're very flexible, but you can get the highlights of what you're trying to accomplish with five or ten minutes a day. One, two, three, four, five. So, hope you enjoyed this. Any questions, let us know. And thanks for watching.